Hello everyone, so this is my first try at art journaling and um, this is my first page and I don't have too much to say because this is just a trial run to see if this is something I enjoy doing, if I enjoy filming and if you enjoy watching. So um, yeah, I don't know if this will be sped up or I have some sort of music on or if I'm gonna speak, we'll see. Alright then. Awkward silence of doom. No, but I'm not sure really what I'm going to do with this page. I just kind of want to experiment. I have some stencils and this is just regular watercolors. And um, yeah. We'll just have to wait and see if this becomes something wonderful or something less wonderful. I'm not very picky since this is my first try. Um, I wouldn't say that I have some sort of style really. I know what I like to draw and what I like to paint, but I don't know. I wouldn't really call it a style. Just maybe I do what I want. That can be a style, I think. Maybe. We'll see. And I haven't really thought of a quote of sorts. I know you usually have some sort of fancy quote when you're done. But we'll see. Maybe something about life. Because that, that is a fancy thing to have. The, these things are... I really thought... I don't know what they're doing there, but... Yeah. Let's just ignore... Ignore them for now. So I thought this color was red, but apparently it's pink. Well, it's a pinkish red tone, I suppose. Um, I usually say that I don't like pink, and I had a pink fringe for a very long time. And I became friends with a person and she was like, how can you say that you don't like pink if you have pink bangs? And, um, I didn't really have a good answer to that. <laughs> That's my phone. Great. The first time I decided to have that knocking as the ringtone, I almost tossed my phone into the air. I got so scared when it banged like that. It was just not at all pleasant. But now I'm kind of used to it. I... I always want to have something that doesn't really melt into the other sounds of the environment and stuff like that. And the knocking stands out pretty well. I know when I, my last phone I had, I had sort of a bubbly sound, like bubbles that were just doing their thing, and you could really hear when you got a text, and also people were always like, oh my god, there's water dripping somewhere, even though there's not, so. 
but no bubbles on this phone, sadly. I was desperate to get it back at first, but then I just, then I found the knocking and I was like, meh, might as well try something new. New phone, new start, something like that. I usually hate getting a new phone. I don't like having to reorganize. I don't like having to make sure I get everything with me that I want from my old phone. It's just a mess. And I don't like it. So I only change phone when I really, really have to. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I have no clue. I have no clue. So, I have this stencil thing, it's probably glaring, but yeah. I realized when I opened the package I had actually bought two. I don't know if the woman at the cash register registered two, but I came home with two. So, maybe I can give one to my sister. But I don't think I will be using that right now. So... I'm thinking I want some sort of a girl. I like drawing quirky girls in my pictures. This is not really wet, but we should be fine. I'm just trying to find my pen. There we are. Let's see. Now, I have my phone on an alarm for 10 minutes because when I started my camera it was like you just have 10 minutes to film so we'll see what happens if that happens I will split this into two parts or however many parts there will be needed so Let's not do any type of shirt yet. Mm. Nose, it's always good to have. I hope I'm not blocking anything. But who knows? Let's make it a smile. We need more smiles than pouty faces. That sounded very deep. I'm gonna go for closed eyes because sometimes you don't just you don't want to draw an entire eye. And sometimes I can, I think closed eyes are kind of cute and pretty. Cute and pretty. So let's see. I always forget the ears, seriously, it's not even funny. I can draw an entire face and I'm like, something's missing. Something's not really how it's supposed to be. And then I realize, oh no, the ears are missing. And I don't know, some, I, yeah, that's 10 minutes. Let's just have a fun little check. Are we still recording? We're still recording, but I have a feeling it's going to stop soon. So I'll set it up again and we'll continue on from where we left off. I hope. I think. So see you guys soon. So, I'm back. I had a little check and it seems like things are working so far. I'm just gonna... Yeah, it seems like things are working, but it only records 10 minutes at a time for some reason. I should probably check that out, but not right now. 
since this is a first try, I'm gonna roll with it. And I think what I was going to say was that I like girls with short hair. Or I like to draw them that way. Well, I like short hair on girls as well, but... I don't know. I'm always so clumsy when it, when it comes to drawing the long hair. Mm -hmm. That doesn't really work for me. So, I'm gonna stick to short hair. For now. I'm gonna give her, I don't know, a dress or top. I'm not gonna be able to really see since it's so far down, but... It's probably fine. pretty content with that right now. I'm gonna just try to ink it a bit. Um, for waterproof and fade lines. That's fade proof lines. This is a micron pen that I managed to find even though I was doubting we have that here. Sometimes I erase my lines, and sometimes I don't. I think they add quite a nice... That's a big ear. That's fine. I think they add quite a nice shade of sorts. not be too picky about this woman here. There we are. And a nose. And the lips. And I hope you did not see my forehead. We'll see. Um, all right. So, I think I'm gonna grab, I have my pens back there, I didn't, wasn't able to think of a good way to have them, so they're back there. Um, this is a Derwent Inktense pencil in Poppy Red, and I'm gonna use that for her hair. I haven't used these for a long time, so I'm really, I'm not super great at them, but I like them. And I like the fact that they're permanent, if the whole area is wet correctly. So, that was fun. You didn't miss much. I think what happened was that the battery ran out. Um, thankfully my camera sort of warned me. But I don't think much got lost. I just finished the hair, so... Um, now I'm gonna try to wet these lines that I've made and just hope for the best. My camera is now loaded and hopefully ready to go. The thing I found find most difficult with the Derwent Inktense pencils is the fact that you don't have a lot of time to blend and go back because it's permanent after it has dried, so if you didn't do it, 
then you don't have any way to go back. But with that said, I really like them anyway. I think it's just a matter of practice. take some color from the pen and just try it on my scrap and then fill in the lips there we are I don't think I'll be needing this one anymore uh -huh. let's see no, that's not the right one. Perhaps this one. Mm, violet, yes. Just, there we go. I'm gonna color in her tank top or dress. Not sure really yet what it is, but some sort of top. too much water, but it's fine. It's all fine. Did I say the name? It's, it's just Violet, the Derwentington's Violet pen. I'm not very good at shading. I'll ju I just try to have some variation and hope for the best. That looks quite alright, I think. My camera still only does 10 minutes, so it's again on an alarm and we'll hope for the best. So. Let's see. I think I want to do some flowers around her because it's very empty right now. And I just stuck my th thumb in the paint. But it's all fine. I still haven't decided if I might speed up some parts here and there when I get quiet and to make the video shorter because I think it has a chance of being very very long right now so we'll just have to see what happens this or how you want to call it I'm gonna say ink it because it sounds like I know what I'm doing even though I'm probably not but then that's the fun of it right I'm not very good at flowers. I like I like drawing flowers, but I don't really 
enjoy flowers in real life. I much more enjoy trees and bushes and things like that. My sister loves flowers though and she always wants me to come to the garden and see some sort of new flowers and she says the name and just as soon as I know what she's talking about and I don't. But it's fine. She usually explains what she wants me to look at and as long as she does that I'm fine. Alright. I quite like my inten intense today, so I'm gonna continue on. I'm going to use this tan color to fill in the... There's not much spa space in that one, but it's fine. I have no idea how much time I have. But that's the... Great part about ink tens, things move very quickly. And my whole pen case is falling apart, but it's fine. Let's see, yes, bright blue. And now I got some bright blue on my finger. Filling in. And I think I might speed up this part. So, those ten minutes were up. Anyway. So, I finished the flowers and speeded that up, so the video is not going to be so horribly long. I'm going to speed up this process as well. I'm just going in with my field green to do the leaves. So, there we are. The leaves are done. Now, I'm not sure. I want to add something on the edges, but I'm not sure really what I want. I have this paint that I'm not sure if I might do something with the edges. I always get to a stage where I want to do a bunch of things, but I'm so afraid of ruining what I have now. And I usually do it anyway, and most of the time I regret it. Um, so I'm thinking I'm not gonna do that. Um, I really want to write some sort of quote on this area. I feel like it's missing something. Let's just do something, like I said, something with life. Okay, so I had a total brain fart there when I tried to figure out what to write. So when I found out what to write, I just sat down and did it. And I'm gonna go in with the micron again. So I decided to write, life is pretty, just open your eyes and see. Because sometimes, I know I'm very busy at just not noticing and I need a reminder sometimes a lot of times when I'm out walking or jogging when I well I say jogging but it's 
half running for a little while and then just sticking to walking again. I find myself looking down into the ground most of the time instead of looking up and seeing all the nature and things around me. I have no clue why. I guess I'm looking down to see where I place my feet. Not sure if that makes any sense, but... That's the only explanation I can come up with. So I'm gonna go in and make a bit of a 3D effect here and there on the letters. I guess I should have some sort of pattern to this, but I just... I usually stick to the bends and fill them in a bit thicker. And it usually works. So... Once again, I'm gonna speed this up and come back. So, now that that's done, I feel kind of finished with this page. I'm not sure. I have these liquid pearls I bought. I'm wondering if that might look good at the edges. I'm gonna give it a squeeze because one I had was really hard. That's very pretty. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do clusters maybe on the sides. In no particular. Order. I've noticed with these liquid pearls that you, ha you just have to go for it. If you poke at it too much, it just doesn't work. I mean, if it gets a bit pointy, that's not a problem. This one worked much better than my other one. I have a green one. And I think that was a bit dried up when I bought it. Which is very sad. But that's fine. You're not gonna see anything if I do that. I think... That just might be it. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this page. And um, this was very fun. And I'm looking forward to doing more. And I hope I will be able to upload more videos like this. Because I enjoy doing them. And I enjoy chatting about random things and I just enjoy the process. So that's all for me.